Hi, my name is Dr. Brittany Cavallero. I'm an instructor of creative writing at Interlochen Arts Academy, and I direct the novel writing intensive here in the summer. I'm also the New York Times bestselling author of the Charlotte Holmes series for young adults. So I wanted to talk to you all today about how to take an idea for your novel and develop it into something that you can work on, something that will sustain the project. A lot of the time when we sit down to write a novel, we start with an idea. We say, I want to write a novel about a revolution. I want to write a novel about a relationship between two people. You start in a really big, broad way. My argument and what I found works best for me, what works best for my students, is instead to locate your novel idea in the things that you like to read. In my writing the novel class, one of the first things that we do together is an exercise that makes you think about your book buying habits and your book reading habits. So say that you're going to go into your favorite independent bookstore, uh, the one where you know the booksellers and you feel like, hey, I can talk to them um, about maybe finding something new. I want you to think about the list of things that make a book an auto buy for you. Like you're gonna buy it if it has these things. The trick to this though, is that you have to be really, really specific. So it's good to know that you like books that are written in first person. I did this, I did that or books that are written in third person. She did this, she did that. But for this exercise, you wanna get a lot more specific. I'll give you some examples from me. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes. I am a big Sherlock Holmes fan, and I have been since I was a kid. The fun thing about Sherlock Holmes is that a lot of people write Sherlock Holmes novels, not just uh, from the 19th century. There are a lot of modern spins. So if Sherlock Holmes is in it, I'm there. Um, I love novels that take place at county fairs. I love reading about amusement parks. I'm not really sure why, it's something I really like. I love novels about twins. I always wanted a twin when I was growing up. I personally don't love novels written for adults with child narrators. I don't wanna necessarily read a book written in the voice of a seven-year-old. It doesn't mean that those books aren't good, but those books aren't for me. The exercise I want to give you is to sit down and try to be as specific as possible about those things that you really want to read about and get a really good list going. So my list might have books set during the uh, 1893 World's Fair. I love reading about the Columbian Exhibition. My list might include books that take place in Japan. I love books that take place in Japan in the past or in the present. Get eight to 10 things on that list. If, for example, you think, hey, I would love to write a novel about a pair of twins who go to the World's Fair. Um, I'm gonna write it actually from a plural point of view where they say, we did this, we did that, because I've seen people do that before in books and I love it. Um, if you try to loop in as many of those things that you love, even if it's just a scene that happens to take place at a county fair or um, a scene where one character is telling another about their trip to Japan, those subjects are alive to you. Those subjects are electric when you talk about them, when you think about them, and when you write about them. What you like to read should shape what you're going to write. It's the stuff that makes your writing sing, and that's the place to begin. Thanks.